My name is Asenath Mithika, the Chief Executive Office of Orchid Project. Orchid Project is an international organization with offices in the United Kingdom and in Kenya, and we work on ending female genital mutilation and cutting, using research, using capacity strengthening of grassroots organizations, and using advocacy. It gives me so much joy uh, to be honored as a finalist for the 2024 Top 40 Women Under 40 in Kenya. This gives me so much motivation to continue leading with excellence and to continue impacting the communities uh, positively. Over the years, I have dedicated my life towards uh, working on the abandonment of FGM. Um, one of my friends once said that uh, when you hear the name Asena, they synonymous to ending FGM because of the passion that I have towards this cause and the passion that um, I have towards ensuring that women and girls' rights are protected and ensure that women and girls achieve their full potential. Over the years, I've been able to work with uh, NGOs, not just in Kenya, but also at the regional level. I've worked over 12 African countries building the capacity of organizations on how to communicate effectively using social change communications uh, to end FGM. Ensure that even when they get to the grassroots organizations, that this, the language they are using, how they are coining their messages, that it does not do harm. And that is uh, using social change communication uh, to be able to end FGM. I believe I have built capacity of 800 organizations across Africa. I've also, I'm also the founder of the Youth and TFGM Network Kenya. The Youth and TFGM Network Kenya was founded in 2015, at the time I was still a youth. And um, this came about as a result of uh, being in spaces and realizing that the young people were not involved in key decisions and especially on matters that were affecting their lives, uh, issues like FGM and child marriage. And that is how a youth and FGM network uh, was founded. And uh, over the years, the youth network has now evolved into an independent organization. We have seen new leadership in the, with the youth network, and I'm, I'm proud of the milestones that that network uh, called Young has achieved. And this model has also been um, replicated in nine other countries that uh, we were working in another program. And uh, this has really uh, given me so much joy to see other, other countries take up the model of youth and TFGM network and to be able to run with it and have young voices speaking against the practice of FGM. At the regional levels, I've been able to advocate for the end uh, of FGM at the Africa Union, uh, where I've spoken in the forums at the uh, AU, uh, speaking on one, ensuring that the policies that are being enacted that uh, resonate uh, and uh, speaking to ensuring that women and girls' rights are protected and at the global level, I've had the opportunity to speak at the Commission on the Status of Women that is usually convened by UN Women. It's usually held at the UN headquarters in New York, uh, speaking on having more funding into this sector, onto this space, uh, because the NFGM sector is uh, grossly underfunded. I've also had the opportunity to speak at the United Kingdom's Parliament uh, while speaking on issues of FGM and the intersectionality of the practice and the sexual reproductive health and rights. I've also had the opportunity to speak at uh, forums uh, like Women Deliver, uh, international conferences on FGM and launching the African Africa network. Africa, conti Africa continent is the only continent that did not have a network where organizations were really ha had a platform uh, to um, uh, share, uh, have their voices heard, uh, share their knowledge and their practices, uh, uh, best practices. And um, at OK now, we are, uh, the, we are the secretariat uh, that is hosting the Africa network, and I'm very proud of that achievement. I give back to communities through mentorship of young people. In the space of ending FGM, I believe that, and in many other spaces, I believe that the young people are the generation to bring about the societal change uh, that we are so seeking. You have seen what is happening with Gen Zs. And therefore, for me, I have a passion for young people. I mentor young people, and uh, some of them have evolved to be CEOs in their own organizations, uh, having uh, international positions and calling for change. And that really gives me so much joy to see uh, the change that is happening in those spaces. I also give 
give back using the skill sets that I have, speaking in different forums, our building capacity, uh, especially on communication, something I'm very passionate about, um, building capacity on issues of gender. And I'm also a member of uh, a board member in a number of uh, non-governmental organizations. This award is not just for me as an individual, it's also an award for every girl out there that who I would want to dedicate this award uh, for them to believe uh, in themselves. I come from a community in Meru, I come from a place called Kaga, and a girl from Kaga can go all the way to the global levels and head an international organization that is an achievement. A girl from Kaga can head an international organization at the age of 37. I was appointed into this role two years ago. And for me, that is a huge achievement. Uh, one that I don't take for granted, one that I'm really uh, proud to have accomplished and one that I would want to encourage every girl, any woman, any man, any young man out there, that any boy, that your dreams are valid, as Lupita Nyong'o once said, that if you set your mind to it, you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. It is such an honor again uh, to be uh, honored as a finalist for this award. Thank you so much.